For Halloween, we're all looking to get into the spirit of the season. It's time to get a good costume, make jack-o'-lanterns, put up spooky decorations, and communicate with your friendly neighborhood spirits. If you live in Thailand, you've definitely seen a spirit house before. You'll recognize them as the small houses that seem to stand in front of every building in Bangkok. You've probably been haunted by questions about these miniature mansions. Who are they built for? Why is there always Strawberry Fanta? And what's with the zebras? Here's a quick overview on spirit houses to finally put your curiosity to rest. A spirit house is a shrine built in an auspicious location that is inhabited, as the name suggests, by a spirit that offers protection and blessings. We're not talking about spooky ghouls here, though. This particular Thai tradition is rooted in folk religion and animism, which is the belief that objects, places, and creatures all have a distinct spirit. People ask for wealth, health, and happiness. Some requests get a bit more specific. People ask to pass exams, win the lottery, or get a new job. But nothing comes for free. Just like kids trick-or-treating for candy, you have to work a little for your blessings. To gain favor with the spirits, you need to make offerings. Generally, this consists of incense sticks, fruit, and flower garlands. Another common offering is a glass of strawberry Fanta. This sugary drink is believed to represent the blood from animal sacrifices once performed to appease the spirits. Thankfully, we don't do that anymore. Offerings also include statues of animals to attract luck to different parts of your life. Horses and elephants symbolize transportation, while roosters bring wealth and fortune. Zebras, meanwhile, are linked to zebra crossings and are believed to boost road safety, a necessity in a country with one of the highest numbers in traffic accidents. Spirit houses can be split into roughly six types. The most common is the San Jiao Ti. Usually adopting the design of a traditional Thai dwelling, these spirit houses host a Dao Ti, or a spiritual landlord. A Dao Ti protects their tenants against wayward ghosts, burglars, and general misfortune. You'll usually find it paired up with the second type of spirit house, the San Prapum. A San Prapum is inhabited by a Teoda, or a guardian angel. A Teoda must be formally invited into the spirit house with a special ceremony conducted by a Brahmin priest. An easy way to tell the two apart is that the San Jiao Ti will always be positioned a little bit lower than the San Prapum, out of reverence for the resident Teoda. A San Jiao Ti also stands on four stilts, while a San Prapum sits on one pillar. Next up, we have the San Praprum. Though it sounds similar to the San Prapum, this shrine is dedicated to the god of the four directions, believed to favor builders and factories. The most well-known San Prapum is the Erawan Shrine in central Bangkok. Originally built to eliminate the bad karma delaying the construction of the Grand Hyatt Erawan Hotel, it now stands as a tourist attraction for locals and international visitors to ask for their wishes to be granted. The next type is the San Ba Yai, usually identifiable by the statues of an old man and woman inside the spirit house. Ba Yai translates to grandparents, referring to the ancestors of the people who once owned the land the spirit house is built on. If you're nice to these elderly entities, they might just adopt you into the family as their new grandchild and take good care of you. Our next type of spirit house is known as San Zhou Pa or San Zhou Me, and are usually the largest shrines. They are occupied by Zhao or powerful spirits similar to a minor god or deity. The superstitions about each San Zhao can be super specific, but Thais often visit these kinds of shrines to ask for the winning lottery numbers. Last stop is the honorary member of the Spirit House Club, the Ti Juia Shrine. These iconic red painted altars are found in almost every Thai Chinese residence and store. They honor Ti Juia or Tudigong, the Taoist god of soil and ground, known for giving generous blessings to his worshippers. Though an imported custom, it remains a staple of Bangkok culture nonetheless. So maybe this Halloween, in addition to getting dressed up and splashing on the fake blood, you might also want to visit your local spirit house, pour out a glass of strawberry Fanta, and ask for some extra blessings. <laughs>